around. Guys, before yeah. sorry, I'm gonna cut you off there, Theo. Before we okay. get away too much, we'll um we'll get the ball underway, otherwise we'll be here all night. Um so I'm just gonna mute you all. Should be able to still hear me. Just raise your hand if you can still hear me. Beautiful. All right, first of all, welcome. We've got uh, 37 participants on the on the Zoom. Um, congratulations, everybody that's popped in and, and good to see it's uh, a good number. We'd like to see more, but it's, um, it's good to see we've got quite a few. Um, these things are always challenging and, and different and I've been sort of <laughs> trying a few different platforms to even try and get through to, um, to get it on Facebook tonight with a few experiments um, that I did earlier in the day. And, um, didn't quite get there, but um, I think this is probably the better option and, and we can look at maybe doing a few things a little bit different going forward. Um, I'd like to officially open the meeting at um, 7.58. Um, as I said, welcome everybody. We've got Andrew Kidd, Regional Director, and uh, Theo. Unfortunately, Theo's been pretty busy and, and minimal staff and everything at work. Um, it's been pretty challenging to get some of the staff to come in and, and do some participation. I think he's got very, I think, what, three staff um, currently and, and, you know, just for someone to come in and, and do something, it's a bit hard, as you can all understand. Um, I've got one apology for um, from Norm Williams, Posty. Um, Damon Page may be able to pop in a little bit later on, but we'll see how we go. Uh, as usual, um, we're going to have a minute silence um, and just in uh, respect to all of our past members and, and families as well. So we will take this time just to reflect on that. Thank you. Thanks everybody. Okay, um, I'll just get someone to move the previous AGM minutes. If someone would like to raise their hand. Barney, someone second. Marcus, get that hand. Um, now just a quick rundown on Zoom. You probably see up the top right hand side, you've got a couple of options, speaker view um, and gallery view. Speaker view will give you a, whoever's talking in the, the center of the screen, um, and then we a row of, of uh, everyone else on the top or sometimes on the bottom, there's a little blue arrow on the, the side so that you can go back and forth. In the gallery view, it gives you all small um, screens on the, on, the, on the layout. And given the fact that we've got 37 participants, um, you'll see a blue arrow on the side where you can click between the two sides as well. Um, well, what a year. Um, if, um, if someone had said to us that we were going to be in this situation this time last year, I think we would have all just laughed and continued on and, and, and had more drinks. Um, it's certainly been uh, frustrating, uh, to say the least. Um, but, uh, you know, I think we're all big enough and, and strong enough to get through this and, and continue on. And, you know, like today, you know, are you okay day? It doesn't need to be are you okay day to talk to someone and, and reach out to someone. So just keep that in mind. It's not just one day, it's it's every, every day. So look out for family and friends. <clears throat> um, we've had, uh, we had, as I said, you know, we kicked off to a, a, a good start of the year with um, some activities and 
and things going strong. And again, another great Christmas party with Pat and the crew and, and you know, kicked it off down there at the park. <laughs> Don't know what you can do this year, mate, but um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting, but you know, whether we can get into Harley Heaven and, and do something in there, again, it's, you know, we just gotta watch this space and, and see how we go. Um, and then Heart Kids, you know, we wanted to change it up. Crew got together, um, did a fantastic effort and, and, you know, raised a great crew. So hats off to you guys, as, as we've said all the way through. Fantastic effort, big effort, got, got it done, got some great praise. Um, big round of applause and, and a big pat on the back to everyone involved and, and everyone that participated. Um, I still get phone calls from other directors um, talking about it as well. Uh, in saying that, um, <laughs> again, just last week, I was talking to, to Keith from Yarra Valley and he keeps reminding me that we owe him a dinner. <laughs> so we'll work on that as well, Pat. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, we've got... We've got a few crew that are coming out uh, this year in the in the committee, um, but before we go through that, um, and the minutes will be posted very shortly after the the um, after the meeting uh, as quickly as possible as we can. But just basically on the treasurer's report for the year, um, I was actually going to try and share this on the on the screen, but Basically, our opening, opening balance was $36,436.45. Various incomes from marketing, Christmas party membership, merchandise raffles, bond return, uh, donations, miscellaneous uh, through Member Jungle. Total expenses, uh, to, sorry, total income was $16,054.12. Our expenses for the year range from merchandise, um, membership reimbursements, Digital Pacific, gifts, being flowers, et cetera, trophies for ABC, excuse me, stationary postage, Heart Kids Hire, Heart Kids Expenses, Christmas Party in Australia Day, Round the Bay, um, editor software, Queen's Birthday Weekend, ANZ fees, raffle prizes, Genie, which is the, or Jenny, the, um, the web, Member Jungle, and um, the new merchandise cabinet that we've got in at Harley Heaven. So total expenses, we had $18,638.82, um, which gave us a, a profit less 2,584 from our income. Closing balance, $33,851.75, and the store and audit and bank statement shows exactly with a zero percent variance. So as you can see, we've had some quite extensive expenses um, over the year, a little bit higher than what we actually brought in, but um, we're lucky that we've got some money in the in the bank going forward. Um, just quickly, um, before I hand over to Andrew, um, is there anyone else on the committee that'd like to say a few words? Just put your hand up before we hand over to Andrew. No, all right, Andrew, I will find you on the screen here somewhere and unmute you. That's all right, mate, we're good to go. Good, man, excellent. Yeah, yep, yeah. uh, look good. Um, so good, good to see you all guys. Glad to see that you're uh, having the meeting and everything's getting passed along okay. I guess my only uh, job here is to say well done. Um, good to see that everybody's surviving and coping, getting through it all. Um, and to thank uh, the previous committee for all their hard work, all that they did, um, and just to rattle through those. So obviously, uh, it's a little bit hard for me to hand you the pin and the plaque and all that type of stuff, but uh, they've all been sent through to Ray. So he's got those to distribute. Um, so obviously, our director, Ray, uh, Chris, um, Anthony and Michael will all get the little uh, desk plaque as a as a thank you for your service. Um, particularly, I, I, actually, I'm just I'm just wondering whether or not maybe maybe you should give half the plaque plaque back. You've only done half a year, you blokes. Anyway, um, and everybody else. Um, so that's uh, Mark, Andrew, Sam, Sky, Barney, uh, Christine, Pat, uh, Damon, uh, 
and Mark and Ross. So thank you very much, guys. Thank you for all your work. And you, you guys will get the little um, chapter officer pin. This year's uh, 2020 pin uh, is a um, live wire, a live wire bike on a pin. So um, I hope you guys uh, look forward to getting that and to wearing it on your vests. And um, again, thank you very much. I'll uh, hand back to... Um, now, who's going to do the appointments, Ray? I gather that's going to be Theo, is it? Or who do you want to do that? Yeah, correct. I'll hand that over to Theo. Theo can do the um, appointments. Got the list there in front of you, Theo. Yep. Yep, got the list here. So, um, start running through it. Um, so, we've got Director Ray Martin. Um, Assistant Director, we have Chris Hunter. Um, Secretary, we have Anthony, Anthony Michelin. Um, Treasurer, Mark Williamson. Uh, membership, John Garvin. Webmaster, Andrew Phelan. Uh, editor, Ross Lloyd. Merchandise, Sky Page. Uh, safety, we have Barney Wempe. Uh, LOH, we have Felicity Masserman. Um, activities, Pat O'Malley. Photographer, uh, Peter Sedaris. Historian, David Scott. Road Captain, Damien Kelly. And our ordinary members, Michael Masson and Marcus Warham. So I'd like to just uh, welcome everybody and congratulate everybody on their positions. I think... Um, Got a pretty well-rounded committee there. Um, and yeah, I, you know, I, I just hope we um, all can get together and, and talk through a few things and, and work out a, um, hopefully a, a better year uh, for 2021 and get out there and um, have some activities and do some more riding and, and be able to catch up and at least have a drink or, or a meal together, so. Yeah, looking forward to that. So hopefully it happens sooner than later. So well done, guys. Congratulations. Thanks, Theo. And thanks, Andrew. Um, yeah, so it's it's um, been an interesting year. But um, just in, in saying that, I'd like to thank Mark Murphy. Uh, 10 years he's been on the committee. Um, and what a, what a wonderful exercise that you've done, um, different you know, from photographer to membership and, and, and how well you've done. It's been absolutely uh, a legend. Um, and now you've gone and thrown a spark in the works and created a fire with Garvo. So I hope we've got enough <laughs> fire extinguishers in the, and he doesn't burn bloody member jungle on us. But, but uh, Mark, thank you. Um, again, awesome. Well done. Um, but we'll still be good to see you hanging around. Christine, thank you. LOH. Wonderful job. We're going to miss all those wonderful prizes and, and activities. So again, thank you, Christine. Um, absolutely fantastic. Great prizes. Great work with Pat. Um, everything that you've done for the last few years, it's been absolutely awesome. And and uh, and don't be shy and put your hand up again for, for for many other things to come, I'm sure. Um, Ross is stepping up as, as editor and taking over for Sam. So Sam, thank you very much. Um, thank you for annoying me every... <laughs> couple of months and, and, and drive to, to, to get it out. It seems that um, two months turns into a week and it's, it's um, you know, the last couple of, of, uh, of episodes, it's, it's really been hard to sort of try and put something positive together with, you know, without, without all the negativity that's been going in the world. But um, thank you too, Sam. So welcome to our, our new staff, Willow, taking over as treasurer. Um, We'll, uh, we'll we'll kick that off and, and, and get that going. We've had a few little bit of um, back and forth going and, and getting everything sort of set up. And I'm going to handball over the, the bank set up to you, mate, after <laughs> everything I went last year, but we'll talk about that soon and, and get every, everything organised. Um, yeah, and, and to the committee and whole, look, guys, um, I know it's been a hard year, but, I'm, I'm you know, we will come out of this. Um, and, and I'm sure that, you know, early in next year, we'll be able to get some stuff done and, and get some activities done and meet up with other chapters and, 
and uh, and go from there. Um, that's pretty much it from me just on that. Um, anyone else like to have a word before we go into or we'll close that annual general meeting? Mark, yep. And what's the call in the future? Yep. Try unmute yourself now, mate. Is that copy? That's it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah, look, I just want to say thanks to everyone for over the past nine and a half, ten years of being on the committee. It's been great. Been a good ride, been a good experience. And uh, yeah, all, all the support I've had over the years, it's been great. It's someone else's turn now, so away they go. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what, what's your uh, thoughts on Member Jungle Murph compared to how it was and what it is now? Uh, it, it, it's cut the work down by about 80%. Yeah. Uh, and um, yeah, I had a, a bit of a meeting yesterday on Messenger with Garva and done a bit of a handover and running through the running through the site and what has to do. Um, as I said, I'm still available for the next couple of months until we get all this stuff handed over to him properly. But yeah, the, I'll, I'll, there is a backup for him, but um, it all should be good. And it's it's so much easier to do now. And yeah, away I'll go. Uh, yes, it's um, that certainly made a difference, and I can probably say. Um, probably one good thing that um, that Hog's done for us, Andrew. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think you'll agree there. I think some of the other chapters are finding that have gone across the member jungle are finding the same thing. I know Dan, Dan Hog are definitely on it. Um, you guys have got your merchandise and everything set up to now on there. Yep. So yeah, so that's that's something that we're looking at um, at having a look at very soon. I know Sky's been doing some work in the background and getting pricing and that sort of up. So yeah, we're hoping to to um to get that off off um off I mean, if you need well. a I mean, if you need a hand with that, just reach out and we'll be more than happy to um take you through what we've done and it certainly it certainly um alleviates the need for someone to carry so much stuff to monthly meetings and all that type of stuff. So yeah. Correct. Just let us know. Appreciate it, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Um, Christine, yes, a couple of words. You're on mute, love. We go. Yeah, All good. That's it. That's it. I'd just like to thank um, all committee, um, the club members. Um, for the support that they've given me as in my position as the LOH officer in the past two years. Um, and I just appreciate um, all that, their friendship, and um, we'll see you as just as a club member now. <laughs> Thank you, Christine. Round of applause as well. And um, Sam, are you glad to see the, not to push? Oh, I just chase say people up with reports and just wanted to say thanks everybody for all your patience and allowing me to plagiarize and pinch all your photos <laughs> off of Facebook and make beautiful cover photos and things like that you're all great photographers and please keep it up for Ross I'm sure he'll fit into the job really good I miss you well all done. and hope to catch up with you soon thank you all right um Guy, I'll bring you in on the next bit. We'll just close off the AGM. Does anyone else got anything before we close off the AGM? No? All right, then. Um, I'll close the AGM at 8.16pm. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, we'll have a, a short... Um, right, you can pass that because, because we're all here. Sorry? Did um, Pastor have his hand up, or is he just? I think he went to say uh, something. Hand up. Let me. Yeah. Uh, Pastor. Yeah. Um. I just wanted to tell you guys that you know, um, after moving to Queensland and and looking at how other chapters operate, um, you know what what you guys what well what we have running in Melbourne is fantastic. Um. Uh, 
you know, that level, obviously, taking away the problem that's going on in the world right now, and especially right now, Melbourne is all locked up. But, you know, the amount of activities that the chapter puts forward, the welcome rides, uh, you know, uh, you know the, 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 the club rides that happen so often, it, it's just such like the breakfast on, on Saturdays, uh, you know, it's, it's so many activities that, you know, I, I think that, you know, the Melbourne chapter really, you know, it is ahead of, I don't know how many, how many others operate as well as you, as, as Melbourne does. So, you know, that's something to be proud of, be a member of. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It's, um, it's always good to hear some feedback from other, other, um, other chapters and things like that and what, what they're doing. And, you know, we all try and you know, sort of do our best. You can't, you can't sort of please everyone, so to speak, but, um, it's, it's good to get some feedback that we're, you know, certainly trying to do the right thing. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else just before we close off? No. All right. I'll unmute everybody. Um, again, thank you very much for coming in on the AGM. Um, as I said, we'll have just a quick five minutes, quick run around, have a bit of a chat between yourselves um, and then we'll kick into the meeting just quickly. Everyone should be able to unmute themselves now. Sorry, I didn't yep. think about this uh, earlier during the AGM question session, but um, just personally from, from Jenny and I, just want to thank everyone that was involved in the Heart Kids subcommittee. We did a did an awesome job organising, you know, the flagship event for the chapter, really, for the year. Um, you know, it turned out to be a shit year in the end, but it started out well. So, um, really yeah. good, good job to everyone. Set the bar now. Yeah. <laughs> Ditto, I'll second that. Thanks for all the, the committee members that have stepped down. You, you enjoy your time on the committee, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> yeah, enjoy. Rattle them up. The next 10 years. Marcus, there you go. What's he taking over? On committee too. I live that long. Marcus and Pete. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Pete was the top of Yep. Well, what's Marcus doing? You've been pretty quiet there, Dave. You've got some pretty big, serious history to write about this year, mate. Hey? Not many years we go through. Um, COVID-19, so that's one for the history books. I'm sure you'll find something to write about. I've got a lot of blank pages so far where the rides are supposed <laughs> to be. <laughs> that's right, TBA. <laughs> That'll be interesting to read back on, actually, I think, in years to come. Yeah. yeah it's, um, Short read. Pete Sedaris. Yes. You look like a... Uh, I look like I walked into the headmaster's office with you sitting across the table. It'd be pretty scary. Oh, scar. <laughs> My, for Christ's sake, just get it off, we are. <laughs> Anyone interested in an update? You know why he's got it off, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> There's a half time score. 3623. <laughs> oh. Did you? Oh, that's why he took it off. <laughs> <laughs> that's why he took it off. 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 That's why Peter Sedaris, <laughs> how's she? Where's, how's she going? Yeah, she's she's all right, mate. Considering, uh, yeah, the only work she's doing is refunds and crap. But yeah, <laughs> so yeah, it's it's been it's been a tough year for sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're working through it, and you know she's keeping her spirits up. Good. Uh, she's um in there. I think she's doing the dishes at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? This is recorded, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so send her our best. So we'll edit that, will you, Ray? Oh. So, yeah, well, mate, thanks. No, she's doing all right. Uh, thanks. Thanks, mate.
Yeah. All right. Okay, so um, I'm telling you, mute you all again. <coughs> what? Yeah, that's it. Come back, no mark. Other anyway. All right, so um, yeah, so just going forward, um, yeah, <laughs> the big plan is coming out of this and 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 seeing what we can come up with. I'm sure that um. Uh, Pat's probably already got his thinking hat on about what we can do and when we can do it and 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 when we're going to get sort of further news. But it's still everything's you know up in the air. I can't see anything um, happening this side of Christmas, um, given the fact that even the directors' rides in November. I don't think we really, you know we might be lucky to be ten people, but um, to to participate. But you know we'll probably probably won't even get to do the directors' ride this year. Um, but you know, think you know, things change. We'll certainly get in there pretty quickly, I'm sure. Um, I know Damo's got some rides sort of planned partly that they did a little bit last year. They just started to get a, a few more up and, and you know, he might be able to touch base that um, going forward. Um, yeah, so congratulations to the, the previous committee. Thank again, thank you all very much. Uh, to the new committee. Um, I'll send out an email. Um, just to get everybody on board. Probably in a couple of weeks, we'll touch base and, and do a committee meeting online again, um, just to sort of get some focus going forward and, and get everyone settled in. So if you're having any issues with um, getting on to, to um, Gmail or anything like that, the, the newbies, uh, please get in contact with Andrew. Um, I'll bang that over to Andrew to, um, to assist them with that. Are you happy with that, Andrew? Thank you. Um, so I'll throw up, <laughs> excuse me, I'll throw it back to um, to Theo and um, just if you've got any, any updates or what things are looking at for or maybe you can give us a little bit more of, about the um, the discount that's uh, been advertised recently. That's you, Theo. Yeah, mate, <laughs> just unmuted. Uh, yeah, so... What we just wanted to do is, is really, we, we spoke to our marketing department and th there's not much we can do right now. Everything's pretty much been put on hold in terms of marketing expenditure and whatnot, but we still wanted to offer members, um, you know, some loyalty discount. So we thought we'll just run a bit of a campaign, you know, with the 15% off uh, for online, just as a little bit of a thank you. I know it's not massive at the moment, but it but it's just something. So um, yeah, we just we we appreciate the support. We really do. Um, and like I said, you know, moving forward, hopefully once we get out of this um, this doom and gloom that we're in at the moment, we um, yeah, I think we've got a really bright future coming up. And I think again, you know, just looking at the committee, I know there were plenty of discussions around it. Um, of late, I, I think we've got a very well-rounded committee and I think there's gonna be um, some good stuff coming. I think some really good stuff coming. So um, yeah, just thank you everybody. And um, mate, hopefully it's only a few more weeks. Thanks mate. Thank Get you. back to that uh, assignment, mate. <laughs> oh mate, it's, it's pretty full on. These are module three out of six modules and every single mod at the end of every module, I've got basically the next day I've got to present, you know, what we've basically been through. So yeah, they're definitely making me work for it. So, <laughs> I'm, but it, it's good. You, you learn a lot. It's good. It's tough at the top, mate. Leo, can yes. you give us a bit of a insight onto the live wire? How's it, how's it going? How's it tracking? So, yes, my new demo bike. Um, I should, uh, it arrived at Harley's warehouse yesterday. Harley will be pre-delivering it for us because, because of the massive delays with COVID and all that sort of stuff, they haven't been able to get the right tooling out to the dealers to, to basically pre-deliver them. Um, so they're pre-delivering uh, the bikes for us. Um, so I will have a demo. I'm hoping Tuesday. Unfortunately, we still can't ride it. Um, I'll definitely take it out for a spin though, but 
hopefully once we're back up and running, it, it'll be ready for uh, people to um, have a ride of. So Harley going to charge the battery and then you're going to give me a call? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, well, once, yeah, once we're up and running, but I think we may be able to work something out. Get a couple of people a uh, sneak peek at it and, and take it for a, uh, a quick test spin. It, it's, um, yeah, you got to ride it. it. It's mind blowing. And again, you know, like I say to all Harley riders, you know, Harley aren't going away from their traditional motorcycles. Um, it's just about developing some, something different that's better for the environment. I mean, everyone's trying to get their foot in the door with this sort of stuff. Um, so, yeah, take it on board. It's it, it's a little bit pricier than what, what we first thought. It's a lot pricier than what we first thought, but we'll see how it goes. But it's definitely something that everyone needs to um, experience. It's my Enough life. battery to get out the diggers rest, mate? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we, we haven't even been able to set up our charging points. We have a company coming out, well, that were meant to come out a month ago to set up our charging stations. So all the power charging stations that power them within 20 minutes, half an hour. So we just got to use the good old uh, DC plug and plug it into the wall for the 12 hour charge at the moment. So yeah, it's a sort of, uh, that'd be spewing. It's the, it's the wrong time. Well, it's happened to, to work out to be the wrong time to release yeah. this sort of bike, but it is what it is. And, you know, we'll take Work's it on. Now. Sorry. Is your workshop operating? It's operating. If you're an essential worker, and you have a permit, we're able to do servicing, tyres, uh, brakes. I'm waiting to hear from the VACC. Um, I'm, I'm hoping, they told me by the end of the week, which is tomorrow, they're really pushing hard with the government to get, a, to get things over the line, to not include the workshops as being a retail environment so the workshops can go back to normal but the retail spacing will be a, a separate thing so they're, they're hoping that they can get workshops up and running again um but it, there's a lot of gray areas in between so yeah if you've got so a posty bikes don't you sorry posty bikes have to get serviced don't you do that as well I'll take anything at the moment, mate. <laughs> Absolutely anything at the moment. I look if you've got a if you've got a work permit. Um, so what we're doing is attaching people that are booking in for servicing or tire fitment or brakes. Uh, we're just attaching the work permit to the um, the repair order or the job card. Um, funnily enough, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, they walked into the Dandenong dealership checking that they were, you know, abiding by all the rules and regulations. So it's pretty strict. It's a $99,000 fine for the company if they're not adhering to, to all the regulations. So it's, it's, we're, we're being pretty careful with it all. Fair enough. Steve, how about the Harley Pan, the Panamera? Is, is the Panamera going to come down any point soon? So the, the Panamerica, so a bit of insight into what's happening with Harley Davidson at the moment. The previous CEO, Matt Levitich, has basically stood down. Uh, a new CEO has taken over and he's really pushing Harley Davidson in a totally different direction. Um, so one thing you're going to notice with Harley Davidson is over the next year or two, there's not going to be a lot of stock. Um, you know, if the market is predicting 7,000 units sold across Australia, they're going to only make 6,999 units. So what they're trying to do is basically push gross profit up in, in Harley's and not flood the market. So it's back to where it was five, six, eight years ago, where it was 
it was pretty special to own a Harley Davidson. So that that's he's he's trying to push it down that path. Um, so, but he's dropped a few models. The the Bronx was cut going to come out. The Bronx has been dropped, but the Pan America they're still going to bring the Pan America. We're hoping to see it probably mid next year now. The Pan America. So, yeah. But that also then opens up the floodgates for imports because that's what we had five or six years ago. Yeah, depending on the dollar though. So the other thing with the imports, because it was basically on parity, it was well worth importing bikes. At the moment, the way the dollar is, for the sake of, you know, three grand, yeah, it's really slowed down. I mean, we're, we're hardly buying any imports neither. It's just the dollar value. By the time you get them in, you know, you're losing 30%, then you've got to get them complied. It, it, it's just not as profitable as what it once was. Yeah, I agree. So, but yeah, so, you know, it, I, I think it's going to be a good thing, um, but it's definitely going to be a lot harder to get a bike. You're basically going to be walking into dealerships and where you see now you've had multiple breakouts on the floor in multiple colours or multiple street lights on the floor with multiple colours. There'll be one bike basically displayed there you walk into the dealership, you'll say, basically, I want that bike. And it'll be basically ordered for you out of Harley Davidson's warehouse. The dealer won't have the stock readily available as they are now. So will that push you to a more of a used, a used bike market? Well, we're already, we're already seeing it. Yeah. We're already seeing uh, pre-owned bike sales and gross profit almost double because wow. of because of the because of the lack of um, new bike stock. And as part of your business model, is that is that profitable for you guys? It it's profitable. The problem is now because of the the increase in used bike sales, we really pushed hard in in buying uh, in buying bikes in buying pre-owned bikes. Um, and then with Morgan and Wacker moving up the road, um, which are, they're quite big players in the game too, they went out pretty hard at buying a lot of used stock as well. There's hardly any more used bikes out there in the yeah. private market. So we're struggling to buy bikes. So it's just really increasing the prices on everything. So prices are increasing uh, by two to $3,000 on all pre-owned stock. And you're noticing a price increase of about two or three thousand dollars on all new bike stock as well. Well, it's good for trading our bikes in, then, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, can, I, can I just say privately is the way you want to go at the moment because there's no stock. So, sorry, Mip, just six months ago, there were 16, just over 1600 pre owned units available on bike sales in Victoria. As of this morning, there's under 600. Yeah. Can oh, I just say? Different. Available, and, yeah. And, yeah. Sorry, I, I, I had my fat boy right up, up, on the, up for grabs. Yep. I went on the, the Harley Heaven site to sell your bike. Yep. And I went on the Morgan Wacker, sell your bike. Yep. Never got a response of anyone. Oh, really? Never got a response. It was a shit bike, Murph. <laughs> oh, it's gone now. That, that's quite interesting because they've got three full-time buyers that get all those leads that should be contacting you. So they've got buy full-time buyers out there that should be contacting you. Yeah, and that, that was dressed up in a full show bike like mine was. I finished up selling it. I took my tins off, put new another tins on. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, twenty-one grand in my pocket. Yeah, it's 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 good money. And anything, some of the money that we're getting for some bikes at the moment is ridiculous. Even yeah. so, some of the older stuff. If you've got an old Evo or something put away, and you want to make a bit of coin on it, put it up for sale. We, I got. 
I just got eighteen thousand dollars for a nineteen ninety five Evo. You know, and some some are selling for twenty thousand dollars plus. So. Uh, just touching on what you just said about not getting any contact. Oh, we've sold Joe's bike privately. We didn't yeah. end up going through the deal, but I had Peter Stevens or Harley Heaven Danny Nong, the city, and Morgan and Wacker contact me through the ads I had. Yeah. And I've recent only as late as oh, early this week, Con, is it Theo? Yeah. Con, Con, who's the buyer, emailed yeah. me to see if I'm interested in selling my bike. So. Yeah. I don't yeah, know if anyone else has received an email, but he, he emailed me too, and we had a chat on the phone. But I said, I'm in Queensland now, man, it's not profitable for yeah. you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's very unusual because there's three buyers there's Con, there's Glenn, and there's another guy by the name of Dean. So, yeah, so basically, it's not look to be honest with you, it's a little bit shit at the moment because they've taken full control of what they're buying and the pricing on everything so we we don't really set the pricing like we used to it's all been put in their hands so taken away from the actual deal themselves but you know it's just well, the way it is at the moment i ended up getting four and a half grand more selling holding on to joe's bike and selling it privately than what both Morgan and Wacker and Harley Heaven offered. Well, it's understandable they're going to make a profit. Yeah. But that's, and that's one thing point. you always remember. I was saying to you, Pete, you know, one thing you always got to take into consideration if you can hold on to it yeah. and sell it private, it's going to be between three and five thousand dollars yeah. more all the yeah. time. Yeah. And we weren't desperate to sell. We just, you know, yeah. Theo, we had a long conversation yeah. on it. And, <clears throat> um, and I just waited for the right money. For me to be so yeah okay we're happy to let it go and, and again because of the market change yeah in the last couple of months you'll find that if you are going to advertise the bike now with a thousand less bikes available privately mm -hmm. you're going to get a lot more inquiry yeah because the bikes just aren't out there so fair that 15 percent off does that apply to the 131 crate motor no, unfortunately, no. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> Good try, Dan. Thanks, thanks, Theo. Thanks, thanks, Theo. Thank, thank, thank uh, you. Andrew, I'm go. there. When you're saying uh, sales, sorry, um, bikes are down at the moment on bike sales, is that Jap bikes as well, or are you only talking Harleys? Um, no, both. Both, both is at it? the moment. Okay, both. yeah. Both That's are incredible. down. I'm not sure on the numbers with the, um, with the Jap bikes, but... Yeah, like I said, I, I know that uh, there's a thousand less pre-owned Harleys than there was yeah. nearly six months ago. So. Okay. Yep. Yep. Which is, I think that's a consequence also, Theo, of COVID and people are thinking, shit time to sell, there's no way, I won't get the money I want, and they're just not advertising? Um, no, I think it's just, I don't think so. I, I think it's more just the drive in, in the numbers in terms of the sales numbers. Hmm. Now, and I don't think I don't know if it's just driven because of, because of COVID, people aren't holidaying. Yeah. So, but we're finding, you know, people are going well, stuff it. I can't go away on holiday. I've got a little bit of my super that I've taken out, and my holiday money, and we buy a Harley or we buy a bike, and we can enjoy the next twelve months on a motorcycle instead. Yeah. But, you know. Thanks, 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 Theo. Thanks, gonna Theo. Off. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Gonna, Don't gonna forget, gonna off if there, you need anything. Don't go away. <laughs> Don't hey. go away just yet. Don't go away just yet. I'm going to chuck it over to Andrew Kidd. I see, sorry, Andrew, you had your hand up there uh, half an hour ago. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> guys. Uh, but, yeah. That's all right, mate. I don't want to stand in between that Theo <laughs> and a microphone, believe me. Um, I see what it's, just, it's just, the biggest conversation we've had. Just to pick up on what Theo was yeah. saying there, you guys... Um, if, if, if you want to have a bit of a look at what is going on within HD, the restructure itself is called a rewire. Yeah. Um, as in like live wire, but rewire, as in to rewire the business. Um, and in fact, and um, I'm about to put out a, um, an RD's newsletter and have a bit of an explanation about what's happened to the RD's and our positions within the business. So um, Harley has had a, a, a substantive um, layoff um, of its staff, 900 worldwide, and in Australia, 
So when I when I first became an RD, we had forty seven. Good if the wife wasn't so freaking noisy. We had 47 staff um, at uh, Harley Davidson in Sydney, and uh, they got down to, a, to just over 30, and nine out of those 30 people uh, lost their jobs in the last couple of weeks. I don't know if you know, uh, Marcus, our fleet manager, so um, his last day today. Uh, ben, Ben Foster, my boss, um, uh, has lost his position. His position's gone over to Singapore. Um, he's he's going to stay with the company in a different role, so there's a uh, quite a few moves, but you know, you you have 39 staff and you get rid of nine of them. Um, mm. So it, you know, Harley Davis is not a big operation here in Australia. So um, so all of the regional directors um, are now reporting to a guy by the name of Dong Tians uh, over in uh, Singapore. So um, we're coming under the Asia Pacific market, and uh, and and we're being managed through him. Uh, one of the advantages to that is that uh, Dong is a is a hog guy, and he's driven by hog. You would have noticed this, you know, a fair change in the move from um, Ben Foster, uh, sorry, in the move from Gaz Luxmore over to Ben Foster, where Ben was more focused on events and on um, and on uh, displays, trade shows, and all that type of stuff. So he wasn't really into the hog side of things, and that was not. By his choice, his position was advertised to be more um, events oriented than hog oriented. So Dong will bring back a little bit more of the hog's uh, focus in, into 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 that role. So you know, um, yeah. So um, if you want to have a bit of a look as to what's happening within Harley Davidson itself, just just um, Google the term Harley Davidson rewire, and you'll be able to find out you know um, a lot of information about what's going on. But yeah, um, substantive changes in the business and. They are certainly restructuring the way that they do things. Yeah. Well, thanks, Andrew. It's um, and how's Dan Hogg? How do they? How are they been doing? Are they doing their zooms and everything right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, we uh, at Dan Hogg had their AGM um on the second of September via this uh, format. So yeah, uh, we did pretty well. Um, it's, you will have just noticed that you've had a had a um a fifteen minute AGM. You know. <laughs> My God, when in the world would you have ever done that? You know, so um, yeah, yeah. Look, um, and they've been doing some uh, some trivia nights and some LOH nights and all that type of stuff. So they're certainly using the um, using the this this uh, video conferencing system to try and keep and maintain a bit of the interest. Um, it's just it's just hard, man. You know, none of us joined a bike chapter to do a video conferencing. <laughs> or, or, or in fact, you go to meetings, or it's, you know, it was about riding the bike. That's why we're all here. So That's we all acknowledge it. that it's just hard work. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks, Andrew. And um, any, any, I know it's probably a bit premature, but nothing on rallies or um, HOT or anything sort of in the... In yeah, the look, um, you may or may not know that the, uh, the Tasmania uh, rally has been cancelled for next year. So that obviously runs in January every year. So that's been cancelled. Um, we're t uh, it's, I don't think the South Australian rally is going to go ahead next year. They are sort of on the cusp of are we or aren't we? And I'm pretty sure they're going to fall with no, we're not. Um, yeah, so lots of the inter-chapter stuff. It's not likely to go ahead. You know, so um, the guys saying Hall's Gap's not likely to go ahead. Even at the Shepherd and Pool Party um, just... just just talking to Gabby a couple of weeks ago and she's thinking, oh, it's not looking good. You know, so, um, yeah, basically we're still going to be hunkered down, I reckon, till, till sort of February or March, you know. So just, yeah, yeah. it's unfortunate, but that... Yeah, look, uh, as, as we've sort of been saying, you know, it's, it's, it's hard. And like you said, you know, no one no one joined old to do um Zoom, we, we, you know, we get out and ride and have fun. Every, every day is just not a great day to ride, but at the moment we're not doing it. But yeah, Thanks, that, Andrew. That Tasmania Rally, uh, Skip, I wanted to pull out all stops to win the best hat next year, and I reckon you cheated me out of it last year. <laughs> Mate, did, you've seen that photo I took of you, and, 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 and I've got to say, you, you, you won the best hat by, by a long way. Something that stuck to your head like that was pretty... <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen it, it was a little um, tequila, tequila bottle top hat, just with a <laughs> suction cut stuck on my head. <laughs> I've, I've got a base to start. 
I'm, I'm going to build on that, so I've probably got a bit of time to build on that. So, <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Um, Chris, anything from you, Chris? Uh, no, Ray, I think it's just really re reiterating what you said, is that it's a, uh, been a difficult sort of 14, uh, sorry, 18, 14 months, I guess, now. Uh, and the last sort of eight, seven, eight months have been extremely difficult. So thanks, Ray, for trying to lead us through this difficult time. Um, to Damo, I think he's, he's, he's planned rides. Um, unfortunately, we haven't gone ahead with any rides, but I think everybody's itching to get out there and, and get on the bikes, as we know. So uh, just hang tight on that one. Itching is um, a statement. <laughs> I think we're all, all waiting for that one. Um, to, I think everybody who's joined tonight, I think all I can say is, you know, I think it's, it's unprecedented times. You know, it's, everybody's here, but we're, we're battling through it as best we can. Um, I can say thank you for everything you've done for the chapter. I think it's, we've, we've tried to support one another as, as best we can in these difficult times. You know, we've had meetings, we've talked, we've sort of tried to, to share emotions as much as we can. So thank you. Uh, to Theo, thanks for your support. I think I think the the, the chapter is supporting the club, the, 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 the shop as much as we can in difficult times. So I think for everybody, just keep supporting Theo and his team as much as we can. And hopefully, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, once we get under this 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 magic number, whatever it's going to be, five or ten or fifteen, we can eventually get on the bikes and and get out there and start riding again. So. Keep our fingers crossed and um, stay strong, guys. It's difficult. I know. I think we're, we, we're struggling. I think everybody's struggling through these, these times, but I guess we can rely on one another to support us and, um, and get through it. And eventually, let's get out there and, and uh, have a drink and ride the bike. So uh, let's catch up one day, guys. So thank you. Cheers stay strong. And, uh, we'll be there. <laughs> sure. Thanks, thank you. Mike. Treasurer, Mark. Did you want to say anything this one or wait for the next one? Hello? Hello. You mean the incoming treasurer? No, no, no. <laughs> Good. Um, Editha Roth. Roth's still there. A couple dropped out. Uh, all right. Um, Damo. Um, we're ready to ride as soon as they'll bloody well let us. <laughs> how, do know, how do I know you're going to say that? <laughs> um, look, yeah, it's, it's, it's not a great time. Absolutely, it's not. Um, I'm just, I'm disappointed that we can't get out and ride. Um, can't even go for a ride myself when I want to, when I've got plenty of time to do it. But, you know, eventually we'll get out of this crap and um, we've got rides ready to go, so... We will see you on the road when we can. Absolutely. Thanks, mate. And Dave, Dave Goss, tell us a bit of history. Yeah, well, I think um, everyone's strumming it up pretty well. It's a pretty difficult time at the moment, and um, it'd be great to be able to get out and ride. I mean, that, that's really what we're about. It's a motorcycle club, and we're supposed to be out riding motorcycles. Great to catch up yeah. with everybody in meetings and have a bit of social time, but at the end of the day, it is about getting out and riding. So um, we just have to wait and bide our time and hopefully it's not too far away when we can start doing that again. And right. uh, looking forward to working with everyone over the next 12 months to, to try and promote that and look after the members and uh, just get out there and ride. Thanks, Dave. Gallo, welcome aboard, mate. Oh, we've got the pencil sharpened and ready to go. Yeah, no, look, thanks very much. Um, I'd like to thank Murph for, for the time that he's put in and, and appreciate the handout that we're having at the moment and the support that he's going to give me going forward. Um, and I just hope that everyone out there, please pay your membership when it's due. So <laughs> make it a bit easier. <laughs> don't uh, look, pay, don't pay. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to working with the treasurer. I'm sure we'll have some weekends away <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> 
Uh, good on you, mate. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, please. Nice to my resignation, Rosa. <laughs> uh, look, thank, thanks, everyone. Look, it's, it's, I'm, hope, I'm hoping it's going to be good and I'm going to enjoy. I've sat back for a few years now and haven't really done anything. And I always believe that if somebody or <laughs> everybody puts in two, at least two years into a club, it makes it easier for, for everybody else going forward. So look, I'm, I may do more than two years. Um, I hope I do. I'm, I'm retired. I suppose I've got a bit of time. Um, <laughs> and I'm looking, I'm looking forward to working with some great people. And there are some great people there. And we touched on, um, we talked about the activities officer and the things that we do. Uh, and that's, that's a reflection of what Pat done. You know, Pat and your team, well done. You do, really do well. And I'm uh, really looking forward to being part of that over the next couple of years. Thank you. Thanks, Dabo. Uh, Sky, what's on the board? Uh, not too much different, <laughs> obviously. I know. Um, but we have, obviously, we've still got the name patches running. Um, Thank you to everyone that's purchased the black satchels. Um, I've had a few orders of those go out recently. I've let people know. Um, I know Pete Marsh is on here. I'll send you your tracking number this uh, tonight or tomorrow. Yours is gone as well. Um, so hopefully Australia Post gets on boards and gets them to people in appropriate time. No. But at, at any time, <laughs> at any time you can, um, email me and order anything and I'll just pop it in a satchel and send it to you. Beautiful. Easy. Excellent. Yeah. Thanks, Guy. No worries. Barney. Um, just to remind everybody that it's uh, Are You OK Day today. Um, and it's very important to, you know, keep our mental health, um, you know, up there. Uh, that's probably it's the hardest awesome. thing for a lot of people. You know, going out riding is, is you know, something we all want to do um, and it gets very frustrating if you can't, particularly for someone like me who, who travels up to New South Wales on a regular basis and uh, sees everybody just scooting around, having, having fun in complete disregard for, of all sorts of restrictions and then having to come back down to, to uh, Victoria and, you know, stick it, stay at home. So it's, um, it is hard and, um, you know, just make sure everyone's all right. You know, make a few phone calls and and wish everybody the best. Excellent, thanks, Mark. It's um, yeah, it's it's it is here. I see Marcus has got his wristband up there. Are you okay? That's um, yep, it's on your mind. Okay. Um, that, that's what I was going to say during question time. Was just you know that it's like are you okay day to day. So just check on people, make sure they're all right because there's a lot of people suffering at the moment. So. Well, but this is good for our group because we can see and talk to each other. But if you know of anyone that's not on here and you think they might not be doing all right, just give them a bell and see how they are. Ask the question, are you okay? That's and good. then the following up questions. So, yeah. That's, that's, the, that's the big thing too. Make sure the, the follow up and actually sit down and have a conversation with them as well. Exactly. Pete? No, I'll... Uh... Pretty much everyone said, you know, well, there is to say, mate, look forward to working with the committee again and, you know, doing some great stuff, you know, moving Beautiful. forward. We're allowed to open up again and go from there. Excellent. We'll get, um, um, I'm trying to get as much uploaded into that um, photographer's directory on G Drive as well. So um, give me another couple of weeks to sort of get that going and, and you can have a look at that and you, know, you might want to put a USB together for the for the yeah. shop. Yeah, Andrew and I are going to do some stuff on Saturday just to set everything up. I've had a bit of trouble setting up, but we'll get that sorted on the weekend, hopefully. Thank you. I'll try and do uh, my over this. I'll try and do Sorry, all mate. my stuff. All my photos, I'll try and get them out over the next week or so. Yeah, no worries. Yeah. Mate. yeah. I think I think there's still a heap on the hard drive. Dave, is that right? Photos and videos. Dave Scott, you're on mute, mate. Best thing you've said all night. Does it make any difference? <laughs> yes, I'll, I know. I'll check to see what's there now, but I know there is a lot of stuff that was there. But that, I think most of that should be already in the archives anyway. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 
Excellent. Andrew with Martha. Uh, yeah, so really my only thing is um, there's a few people having problems with logging on to uh, Member Jungle at the moment if they're using um, Android phones. Uh, I've got a support call in with Member Jungle to try and work out what's happening with that. Um, some of them are easy to fix that we just reset the password. Some are taking a bit more effort to get it fixed. Um, but yeah, if you can't log on to um, Member Jungle on the phone, you can still log on to the website um, using your username and password as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get that fixed in the next couple of days or so. Excellent. Um, Pat, you had got nothing else, Pat? Uh, activities, there's not a lot happening at the moment. Ray has uh, 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 read, read, read what everybody else was talking about, how everyone's itching to get out there. I'm sure when restrictions are lifted, um, There'll be a lot of people wanting to go to a lot of places. So, uh, as Andrew said earlier on, I don't think Hall's Gap's going to come ahead. Uh, so that's, uh, we'll update everybody on that shortly over the next week or two. Um, there is a lot of people booked for that, so there'll be a lot of disappointed people on that one. I think we had about 24, 26 people going up there to Hall's Gap. Uh, the Australia Day weekend, I've got stuff penciled in, but I still don't know whether we can confirm it. Um, yeah, motels don't want to take reservations. Though. They're not, we can't plan that far out. We don't actually know what's going on. And then the Christmas, right. probably the next big one for us is a Christmas party. So, um, yeah, as you said, well, we're committee, we've spoken, but uh, we need to speak to Theo. Hopefully, there's no park organized at all. I can guarantee you that. I don't think we'll be having 100 people, but we may be able to do something at Harley Heaven. We've sort of by Theo get whatever sort of numbers we can and how it's going to work we're not exactly sure but we'll work something out if we can uh, Absolutely. Patiently wait and see what happens there yeah it, it's going to be hard and you know you, you hear all the um the media talk about um you know the the, the regional victoria wanting to come out um and, and you know go back to normal but they don't want melbourne people to come there so you know, that's, that's the only way they're going to make their money is is us to get get out there and, yeah. and visit them and, and spend some money there. But you know, they they want to open up, but they they don't want to see. So what is ha what is happening too? Like even when restrictions do lift, we're still going to be restricted on numbers. We're going to be limited on numbers. Right. So yeah. where we use where traditionally we've had our couple of big weekends away a year, we might have to organise a lot of smaller groups, you know, to for one nighters or something. Instead of having a long weekend away, it might be an overnighter, and we might have a have a lot more of those on a more regular basis. So a few uh, people can go in different directions. Yep. Uh, well, we'll we'll do something like that for you know for that sort of thing when when we're allowed to do so. Or even I don't know if you can do this, but if you have one destination. And then just have like a whatever the number is, a group of ten or a group of twenty. Yep. Have them staggered by leaving like five or ten minutes after each other to to go to the same destination. Yeah, I've already experienced too, Marcus. That um, talking to motels, motels will not take bookings. If you talk to a motel and say, "I've got thirty or forty people that want to come along," straight away they're on the negative. No, we don't want. We can't have thirty people from one group together oh uh, yeah, yeah you're better off you know, yeah yeah i've learned that now you're better off ringing a motel and say i've got 10 people and then uh, do that do that three times uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah so there's a lot of things like that are happening at the moment with booking weekends and accommodations etc so you just gotta yeah i think we'll be a the lot other... more sorry go on or we'll stay at a motel yeah book two motels down the road from each other you know There'll be ways around it somehow. Yeah. Without yeah. stepping on hogs, uh, yeah. doing the wrong thing. Oh, look, it's just, yeah, just being smart. And, and yeah. it might even be two totally different, you know, if we've got different the numbers, might be two, two destinations, you know, and, yeah. and, and, you know, do a Zoom yeah. between yeah. the two, you know, different parties. Yeah. Who knows, you know, but. But yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be limited to numbers. To I think we'll be limited to numbers for a long time. So. I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's going to yeah. be a long time before we've got a hundred people back together. So. Yeah. The the interchapter events, 
like your Halls Gap, where your Yarra Valley Poker runs even now, even our dice run in February. So whether we're going to be able to have 100 plus people in a group, um, I think that's where it's going to be hard for you know, Hog in general uh, and all the chapters, the inter-chapter stuff. That's going to be a long time before that comes back. So I think it'll be a lot yeah. of smaller events in the meantime. Uh, so well, probably one sure thing I can say, you know, with the Shepparton weekend, um, I'm certainly not going to come back at 45 degrees, Murph. I know he's gone. <laughs> but, um, I think Murph will, will, will back that up. A couple of years ago, we come back from Shepparton after spending a day up there. Oh, he's putting his, putting his hearing aid back in. Can you hear me, Murph? Yeah, but that was... Um, <laughs> but even last, even this year, was this year we all went up there and... Um, uh, yeah, a few of us stayed for the weekend, and uh, then there was also a group that rode up for the day. Uh, uh, that's right. Mm. Yeah. yeah, no, I was, I was just saying about the Murph with the, the, the 45 degree temperatures coming home from Shepparton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think, I think we all nearly passed out on the way home that, that day. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty, pretty horrific. Yeah. I don't know if you um, guys are watching what's happening in Europe at the moment. With, with COVID-19, but you see the UK has just gone back into lockdown again, back to yeah. maximum yeah. 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 I was, so I was talking to um, a guy from India today and it's just absolutely on fire over there. It's unbelievable. You know, that the, the building that they're working in, it's only a small building as a consultant. And um, I think they had seven positive um, cases in that building of, of, you know, only three stories. You know, there's probably only... 40, 45 people work in this building. They've shut down the whole block right. and, and, you know, just basically said everyone go home. You know, India's just, you, you know, you can look, look at the, the population in India. Well, they yeah. had 90,000 cases. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah. Um, yeah, everyone that's come out, they're all, all um, you know, think that they're out of it. And they're going back in there. They're all starting to go back into it. So, yeah. yeah, we've still got a way to go yet. I saw well, an article. I'll, um, on, uh, sorry, Raya, just a quick one on sorry, Sturgis David. this year. They had about half a million people there, and uh, the article I saw, how true it is, I don't know, but they said they now have another 250,000 COVID cases from that. Wow. And just the from cost Sturgis. is going to be about $12 billion. Uh, yeah. Unbelievable. The states are certainly yeah. not uh, on the uh, to visit list at the moment. No, nah. no. Nah, look, I, I, I think anywhere in the world it's going to be a long time. You know, um, it's going to be years before you know we start travelling in state or, you know, who knows? But um, <laughs> funny, I still keep getting messages. Definitely, from the Pacific uh, <laughs> worth spend our money here in Australia. Well, that's that's the, that's you know, I think we've got to do that too. You know, be smart and and support the locals as as best as we can. And, um, you know, and, and Pete with Joe with travel agent, you know, like we've got flight centre at work, they're closing, they're closing at Keelor, you know, the travel industry is just unbelievable and, and you know, we really feel for it and, um, you know, it's it's just so hard with, with, you know, all of this going on, it's going to be years before that sort of really kicks off. But even, um, even Virgin have announced, the new owners of Virgin have announced their minimum Minimum is two years before they put a flight overseas outside of Australia. They're going to operate domestically only for the next yeah. two years. So, you know, for airline, they know that, you know, Qantas next July at the earliest. So it's just not going to happen. And to me, it's like, yeah, some people will go and they'll take the risk, but there's a lot of people that I know that won't go overseas for the next you know, two, three no. years at least, you know? No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, interesting. The guys point. that were, you mentioned this time last year were in Byron Bay, I think it was Byron Bay were at Bay last year. Yeah, for the fire. Yeah, Byron Bay, yep. Yeah. Byron Bay, yeah. So, yeah. so it's just happening that time, the past 12 months. So. Yeah. 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 Maybe we can uh, create some positive stuff online and with a little bit of a virtual. Uh, Bike show to see how 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 much paint's been polished off all the motorbikes. <laughs> polished. What what brands are you using? <laughs> oh, or how much or how much dust is settled on them? 
Yeah. How thick the dust is is more like it, Mark. How much, yeah. how much dust has set it on the bike? <laughs> I, think, oh, I think right out of my mouth. I think once once you see the um, report come out and read Pat, you'll you'll get what he's talking about on that one. There's a little snap job in there. That's I mean, a it's, it's very very easy to get on a downer here with COVID. There's not much we can do about it other than yeah. stay within our five kilometre circle and ride up and down the streets uh, <laughs> looking for a bread shop, or you know, I need to go to Harley Heaven because I need an oil filter. And I need another oil filter and another oil filter. So <laughs> you know, let's do something online. You know, let's see some photos off, off the bikes. I don't know how we can put that together, but we need to get something positive happening here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Theo it's can organise something like they did with the shop, a bit of a Oshog competition sort of thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that's like a that. good idea. I don't know who I don't know how many guys are actually going to work now. I guess this is a big thing. Like most of the people are in lockdown. So oh, me, I've been I've been working from home since the middle of March and basically now. But but uh, tomorrow's a day that I might go into the office. So perhaps a day you know go in the office and take a ride on the bike. Uh, well, I think myself very lucky because being a truck driver, I'm still out and about on the road, so I feel myself very lucky. So yeah, I can go to work. At least I'll get out of there. At least I'll get out of the house for eight to twelve hours a day. So, uh, pretty boring sitting at home. On, um, about 150, 200 acres, so I feel I'm pretty lucky, and yeah, I've got no neighbours. <laughs> out and do what I want. Good on you, Brucey. Absolutely. What are we going to do when we have to put a pair of proper trousers back on, Rom? Plasticized waist, side of shorts or tracksuit pants? And Mikey. Yeah. No boots. I really feel sorry for the you know people in the suburbs. You know, yeah, can't get out and about like like I can, and yeah, I really feel for them. Yeah, no, it's hard. Yeah, we miss the kids and the grandkids. You know, the, the one set of the kids, they've been in lockdown an extra, I think, two and a half weeks before we went into stage four. So, you know, who knows what's going to happen with, with, with that. You know, St. Albans may continue. You know, they're talking about hot spots. They may continue. So, yeah, it, it's hard. But um, it's funny to watch the kids. We've been doing a few Zooms and, and that, but... Their attention spans very quick of a three-year-old, I can say. Yeah. <laughs> it's been hard. Like, my kids haven't been at school, like, you know, Bella's 14 and Cooper's 12. My guys haven't been at school for more than maybe a week or so since yeah. March. Uh, yeah. yeah. And, that, and, and, you know, like, even the younger kids, you know, like, they're not getting that social interaction with kids. They're being at home. and yeah. Like, even at the park, they can't play with their mates at the park because, yeah. you know, it's... It, yeah. Uh, but, uh, what about you, Dan? Are you, are you still working? You got permits to work, and every day have quite right. a few. Every you, day, you do a bit of hospital, and yeah, yeah. Uh, I want to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> home. <laughs> well, on the notice in Canada, they they uh, they advocated that if you have intimate relationships between partners, you need to wear a mask nowadays. Wear a mask. <laughs> So people have given away the lingerie and started to decorate the masks now. So it sort of brings a whole new, whole new thing to the brown paper bag from the old days. It's that you wear a mask. So. It gives it a new the new safe sex, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, a bit like Shane, you know, they used to say put it on. And they still got to put it on, but put it on your head, not somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, put the mask on there. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. But yeah, no, that's a good idea, Marcus, and I, I reckon you'd be one to kick that off for us. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. With um, start a bike, you're a, you're a bit of an experience with your shows, with the cars and things like that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's and it's quite easy. It's quite easy to arrange in that. So uh, yeah, we can do it. We can do a virtual bike show within the club or. Or um, something along those lines. It's quite easy to organise, so it's not a problem. Are the judges yeah. open to bribery? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think that'd be a condition. Virtual bribery. 
Ale sa ju to má. Kam, ha? What's the price worth? <laughs> well, that's right. We have to get together and work out. So oh, I'll call you tomorrow. We'll work it out. <laughs> All right. All right. For sure. Uh, <laughs> Good to see you again, Dave. Anyway, mate. Yeah, so you won't call and see me at work anymore, will you? So no. I'm not being here anyway, so it doesn't matter if you call in or not. I'm not in that area anymore, so. <laughs> St Kilda, St Kilda winning again, are they, Willow? I was just going to say the staff back uh, so up, mate. Or is it all over? Scores drew level for one start and we're one point down now. But I'm, oh, we're going to come home so I'm, I'm confident. Scarf's back on. <laughs> You're actually level oh. again, Willow. Oh, it's draw again. Yeah. Slight delay on the Fox to go here. <laughs> go, Pies. <laughs> Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> well, my team's on top, so I'm happy. <laughs> top of the bottom. Top of the ladder, mate. Come on. <laughs> Port Adelaide. All right. <laughs> mean as piss. All right, folks. I think it might be time to call it a night. Yeah. yeah. All right, Barney. Thank you very much. All right. But, um, Best but of luck to all of you. I hope you all stay safe and um, hope you get out. See you, Barney. Yeah, you too, mate. See you, Barney. Love you, Barney. Bye, 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 Barney. Bye,
Thanks, mate. See you, mate. Have yeah, a good day. Get that bloody recording, yeah, mate. mate. <laughs> I'm going to get you to help me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be waiting for the call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, mate, see see you. You. If anyone needs Thanks, anything, mate. just get in touch. I did. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> but, yeah, did okay. you get my re I got a, I did, did you get a reply? Yeah, I did. I understand. Okay. Have you seen the reply? <laughs> <laughs> the have, reply of the reply. <laughs> let's revisit it in Jan, I think. Yeah, yeah, I'll be in contact then. Don't All worry. right. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, mate. Bye, Thank you. Leo. All the best to the family too, mate. You too. Bye. Bye. Thanks, right. bye. <laughs> Click the any key, Theo. That's it. <laughs> yes, no, it's um fun times. But um We'll get there. Things will happen. Things will yep. will get around. Construction work still going. More I'm still retired. Than ever. Yeah. Ray, Ray, I was, Ray, I was just going to say that uh, with Tucker and I and uh, using Gmail, we were able to share that Gmail account quite okay. So Murph and Garvo may, be, may well be able to do the same so that yeah. each one's in the same loop. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're on Gmail together. Okay. It's yeah, just a, it's the, the hog, actual hog site. Yeah, 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 hog, I, yeah, yeah. No, but just, yeah. just in yeah. case. The yeah, no, the yeah. Hog, hog membership site. Okay, yeah. 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 Hey, everyone. Um, Lauren is on and she's listening. She's driving at the moment. So I think we should all do a big shout out to Lauren. Yay! Hey, Hi, Lauren! Hey, Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Hey. 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 Thank you. Love you, Loz. <laughs> <laughs> Love you a long time. <laughs> uh, you, Loz. Uh, good on you. Good on you. She said she got it and she loves us all. <laughs> oh, lovely. Lovely. And uh, Daniel, you sit in the car you at work, Daniel. Oh. Hey, right. oh yeah, the other yeah. Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I was wondering what you were oh, doing there. Uh, working hard. Yeah, I'm just. Yeah, yeah. That's it. You can't see how 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 hard I'm working now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's really at home yeah, I'm just in, in, uh, the, um, in the first day yeah. in Carrigan. Loyang, Loyang A. It's been pretty crazy here. Uh, but, um, yeah, I'm just glad I'm still working every day. Are they um? Have they got restricted crews there as well, like all the others, like on the construction side or? Yeah, 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 yeah. They've been pretty restricted. We got to yeah. wear a mask here as well, and um, they just uh, separate us who is uh, from Melbourne in separate yeah. uh, group parts and sort of things, you know, just to avoid spreading anything. But um, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, the biggest the biggest thing I'm finding with the contractors is like um, one of our main HVAC contractors, Airmaster. They work all around Victoria, um, and we've got probably yep. three guys that know our site really well. Um, but they've been asked to take leave and things like that. And and the closest guys are um, Geelong or down the other side of Melbourne. Um, and one they're having trouble with permits, but because some of them work in hospitals, they're they're not actually allowed to go to other sites. So it's um it's really hard for, you know, logistically wise for, for those sort of companies to try and juggle it around. I've, Dan, are you, uh, do you have trouble with that, DP, Dan Page, or with your guys? Yeah, look, you know, we've um we've pretty much said, you know, the guys where geographically where they live, they're looking yeah. after those uh, those those clients. So one poor yeah. guy's got around rampant, the other guy's got it. <laughs> And um and I'm picking yeah. up all the pieces, but you know it's just every day yeah. as it comes, you know it has it has dropped off, but yeah. um then picked up work in other areas, so it's um you know it's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's you know the logistics of the whole whole situation, you know, transport wise and everything. It's it's um you know a lot of people don't realise just how how hard it is, but they're getting through. You know, like we're still getting thirteen thousand people coming out Sunday morning to go shopping for price. Yeah. Like, it's unbelievable. But, um, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it is. It is. Now we had a 
couple of weeks ago, I worked for Saturday. We had the police out there walking around talking to people. And we didn't issue any issue any fines at all, but a lot of people, oh, I didn't know that you know, I had to be on them on my own. And yeah, it's just, um, but yeah, it still keep coming out. Still yeah, you know, sure. Gathering place, you know. But um, but yeah, a lot of them know. During the week, it's it's you know we get the oldies coming out to get away from their wives and <laughs> try and get a coffee and walk fifty five laps of the the shopping centre. But um, yeah, it's funny, but it's hard. But it's hard. Uh, it's it is. Guys, I'm out of here. Oh, I'm I here. I don't know who that was. Someone was signing off. Ant, is that you, Ant? I was just waiting for Johnny to give us one more big puff. All right, let's say goodnight as well, guys. Thank guys. Thanks, guys. Hey, Pete. See you guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for organising, Ray. See you guys. Pleasure. Pleasure. We'll catch up again. Thanks for organising, mate. Thanks, Ray. Good to catch up with everybody. Yeah. I'm out. See you, guys. See you soon. See you later. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye. Oh, See you, Christine. See you. Bye, Bye, Bye Lauren. Is Lauren gone? Yeah, Lauren's yep. gone. I'll put the minutes up tomorrow, Bye. Ray. Yeah, thanks, Wayne. Right. Bye. See you, Bye. See you. See you. See you guys. Yeah, I've got to shoot too, so I'll catch us all soon. Send me an email, Ray, or something when the next meeting's up. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Yeah. Miss you. Stay safe. Yeah. I'm off too. See you, Daniel. See you, Bruce. See ya. It was good, good all. The first time doing it, so... <laughs> all yeah. right. Well, be good and may thing keep safe. Thanks, mate. Take care. I will. Bye. See ya. <laughs>